Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, this is another edition of how to build your own 30 ton log splitter. What you're looking at right there, I've uh, decided to do something different on this log splitter that I haven't seen on any other one, and I'm making the components modular. And when I say modular, this, uh, this is where the engine's going to mount, and that's where the hydraulic tank is going to mount. Now, um, this is actually upside down. I need to flip this over, but it's easier to work on it like this, and you can see that's where the cylinder is going to mount right there so like I said it's upside down but I'm going to mount the engine here I'm going to mount the hydraulic reservoir here but when I say modular if I mount it I'm going to be able to actually pull this out and I could swap sides or if I have the equipment I'm not going to pull that one all the way out but um, if I want to move it this will fit in here like that and like I said, if, so, if that engine goes bad or the pump or something, I can just disconnect it, pull it out, take it, and it'll be a lot easier to work on my uh, work table than it will be trying to work on this thing at some odd angle or, you know, in some place. But uh, that's what I got going on. So, and that will swap over here or vice versa. Let's pull this out. I need to mount the engine. This particular engine, if we go... From the upper left hand hole to the upper right hand hole that's about three and an eighth inch and if we go from top to bottom the centers are about six and three eighths so three and an eighth here three and an eighth here and then six and an eighth from here and six and an eighth from right here and I need to put some type of uh, vibrational dampening material there I haven't decided what I'm gonna use yet but it'll probably be something free and cheap so let's uh, let's get those holes marked, drilled. Let's see about getting that motor mounted. I've got this uh, this hydraulic tank right here. I haven't decided whether I'm going to weld that on there or I'm probably just going to put some ears and just bolt it down. I don't know. I haven't decided. We'll see. All right. Let's uh, let's get it done. All right. I just want to say that this is uh, two by two, 14 gauge square tubing and this is uh, inch and three-quarter 14 gauge square tubing and it nests in there really nice uh, and it's really strong that's what I use to make the uh, tall jack stands for the uh, shipping container uh, one problem I had is what I did is I tack welded this and I tack welded that and the thing slid in and out and I um, uh, when I welded it all up it was distorted one of the arms it wouldn't slide in there so I had to put a bottle jack in there of course, same things happened on this one right here. I tack welded it very nicely, tack welded it, and it kept sliding in. Well, when I did the final welds, one of the arms distorted. So I've got this little bottle jack here. Now, this has saved me a few times working with metal. And I just put that in there and just uh, gave it a couple pumps. And I think I did it two times. And finally, on the last time, it ended up perfect. And it uh, straightened this thing back out. So... Uh, just uh, just a little FYI if y'all ever have anything like that happen to you what you can do I've got the uh, hydraulic tank it's just sitting up there I've got to still fasten it I've got the bracket here for the engine painted and I need to uh, put some type of cushion under here something to absorb the uh, vibration from the engine and I needed something cheap and something uh, available and that right there came to mind. That's uh, off of one of my other projects. So it's just an old tire. I'm just going to cut it here, cut it here, and I'll put a piece here and a piece there and get that bolted down. I got those pieces cut out. Um, they, they just cut out with my pocket knife. They're not very tough at all. So that's just going to sit on there like that. I just need to punch some holes and I need to get that mounted right there. I got this all mounted right there. There's my uh, rubber engine mount. And this uh, is connected to this. And like I said, this will slide out. I've got this right here slid out. Now what I did is I um, just used my MIG welder over there. And that's flux core wire. And this is after I've cleaned it up. So put some paint on it, get this cleaned up. But this will slide. I can do this with one hand. So we'll slide. 
Come on, baby. It's not going to work with one hand. Oh, there we go. That's it. This will slide in there like that, and I can swap this over here and put that over there. The only, um, only thing I see wrong with this, the exhaust is going to vent right here on the cylinder. So I'm just going to put a heat shield up, or I'll make uh, an exhaust header and direct that some other place. So, okay, well, there we go. The log splitter progresses. Homestead prepper out.